Hi, it's June 15th. Um, I haven't really video blogged in a while, or video journalist of preference I like. Um, I've gone through all of my father's anniversaries, and um, it was hard, it was difficult, but they're done. Um, however, now we're approaching Father's Day, and it's like there's always something. There's always something that goes with uh, losing someone that's no longer in your life, and you don't celebrate with them some of the basic things, such as Father's Day. Um, but I hopefully will be um, at his gravesite this weekend. But I want to talk about some changes I've made in my life, or attempting to make, as they are not habit-forming yet. Um, I am a diabetic. And my A1C, as I uh, journaled earlier, is 6.0, which is great. My doctor has gone so far as to say that I am not diabetic anymore. But I am still diabetic in my mind. I always will be, and it's just something I have to be cautious of. But in that being said, I've tried to come up with some new healthier things to eat. I'm on my second phase of a 40 days of no pizza, and I added potato chips by far, the second time around is much harder than the first time around. Like, I can't believe how much potato chips are in a lot of meals. I couldn't go to Jason's Deli or Subway or Jimmy John's or have sandwiches for lunch without having to figure out how to substitute potato chips or just avoid it altogether. So that's been a real struggle. I have wanted to lately to really just give in. Uh, but my husband has been great at supporting me to not uh, break the 40 days and it won't be until mid-July. Mid-July I think I'm going to have myself a little party with pizza and potato chips. So but I found this, I shouldn't say I found it, my husband suggested this snack for me um, and I was weary and I'm probably going to say it wrong but this is called uh, maple quinoa clusters. This stuff is phenomenal. They're expensive but it's so good. Like, I love it, love it. And, like, I can eat it. I put it in my yogurt, and then I ate it by itself. I might even throw some milk in it, because that's what it says to do on the back, to try some different ways. But it's actually um, very sweet, has very little sugar in it for its serving. And I found that I only need a serving um, any more than that, and it's just, it's very filling as well. So I really like that. Um in substitute of something crunchy that I like to eat, which is normally what I snack on is potato chips. I snack on those as soon as I get home. It's the first thing I reach for is potato chips, and I snack on those. So this is nice because it has that crunchiness that I like, but it's also good for me, and it's also um, satisfying and enough of a sweetness in it that I'm like, ooh, I like it. It's kind of like a treat. Um, I did go see the doctor and had some things that I need to work on. Um, it was heartbreaking while I'm successful in maintaining my diabetes I have other things that I need to now step up and do so today I started doing Pilates and yoga why does something so easy want to destroy you like they're sitting down and they're stretching and next thing you know, my muscles are like, look, lady, did you not know that you were fat? Because we're not doing this. Um, so I did 15 minutes today for the first time. And I was hurting. And I swear, I did this little move where I was like, doot, doot. I was supposed to do this, right? Over and over and over again. Who knew? But your arms are like, no, lady, there's jello in these arms. You can't do that. So um, safe to say that uh, while it looks very easy it is it's hidden it's got a hidden agenda like it's um it's sneaky it's on the stealth mode of trying to you know mess you up and mess up your body but um 15 minutes was not bad the first time out um i hope to do some more but i'm heading back to my hometown this uh weekend and so when i get home i'm sure hubby's gonna be like uh on it and uh, he's been really helping me to manage some of the things that I need to work on to continue to be healthier. So I wanted to spend a little time updating you on my three viewers. Thank you. Um, also, the second half of my segment, I want to talk about these wonderful women that are going to go on a women's retreat with me. 
um, I had been praying to God for a set of women that I can do life with, that I can do fellowship with, and that if something were to happen to me, then no matter where we were in our worlds, distance or emotionally or physically, that we would come together. And I prayed over the women to invite into this women's retreat that um, I'm coordinating. And graciously, I've had four other women, Alicia, Panya, Michelle, and Solita, are going to join me. And we're going to be in um, Waco, Texas, in a vacation home. And we're going to hopefully formulate our group. And we called it Finding Favor in the Journey. And I'm so excited to finally start this journey. I became a a born-again Christian in the year of 2000, and I can say that I prayed for 16 years for a group of women. And it wasn't until about a month or so ago, I think, um, that God spoke to me that I have the women. I just have to put them together. And that was just an eye-awakening experience that I was like, you know what, you're right, I do have them. Why is it that I was looking for a group of women to already join when I have such a wonderful, vast array of women to fellowship with? Good Christian, strong women. We all have a skill set in different ways. And then we all are at different places in our lives, um, in the journey of life, uh, from young to our mid-40s, and from married to single, uh, young children, to children in high school. So um, we have a lot to offer each other. And I hope that you will pray for us and our time when we go to travel to meet together. We're coming from different areas in Texas and uh, pray for that all of our traveling is done smoothly and quickly and we all come together and and have a wonderful time and that God blesses it and, and brings us together as one group of women and that we would have his blessing and his will would be done and we would know what our purpose is as a group of women. So I'm super excited that um, I have that coming up. So even though I still greatly miss my father and lately more than ever, um, I wish he was here because there wouldn't be these trials that we are facing as a family if he was here. There's no doubt uh, it would be a sweeter time, but we are going through a time as a family and I just pray that Um, those of you who are praying for the Cruz family, that you would continue to pray for us. Um, As even though the year has passed, it is still quite a difficult time for us to manage without him. How to navigate this life without him is, it's unknown. And with the unknown comes so many bumps in the road. And sometimes we fall straight into a hole and, We don't even know if we're out of it yet, metaphorically speaking. Anyways, I do appreciate everyone who reads and uh, watches my videos. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so far from all of my family and friends, to be honest. Um, I've made some friends here in my new home, but um, that's where my foundation is at. And so it's nice to be able to try to update everybody and connect with everybody on how I'm doing here in this small town, which I adore. And love it's so great I, um, I can't complain at all really I'm blessed um, so thank you again for watching I hope that you are going to be blessed I hope that for those of us that are on our summer vacations I hope that you're getting a lot of rest and that you're enjoying it and you're spending time with family and friends be blessed be encouraged until next time